Good day students, I am Teacher Ashton and welcome to our class. Ihanda na ang iyong mga kagamitan sa pag-aaral, ang iyong sarili para sa isang makabuluhang talakayan ngayong araw. So for today, we are going to start the discussion on the first lesson in Unit 1. So Lifestyle and Weight Management. So alam mo ba ang iyong timbang ngayon? Alam mo ba ang iyong timbang ay may malaking epekto sa iyo araw-araw, sa ating araw-araw na pamumuhay? Paano? So makinig ng mga buti para malaman nyo kung ano nga ba ang malusog na pamumuhay at kung paano natin mapapanatili ang malusog na timbang. So lesson 1 focuses on physical fitness. So, you are very familiar with this topic because you have learned about this when you were in grade 7 and 8. So, ito ay tumutukoy sa kakayahan at kondisyon ng ating katawan upang maisagawa ang ating mga pang-araw-araw na gawain. So, come on, let's, let's discuss more. So, you can be considered physically fit if you can do activities under health related fitness and skill related fitness and what are these again come on let's find out so health related fitness is directly related to good health kasama dito ang kakayahan natin gumawa ng katamtamang bigat ng mga gawain pati na rin ang mga pang-araw-araw na gawain so health related fitness helps reduce hypokinetic diseases which are caused by the lack of inability to move. So, kaya mahalagang lagi tayong kumilos at maging masigla. So, these are the health-related fitness components. So, we have muscular strength, muscular endurance, flexibility, cardiorespiratory endurance, and body composition. So I am sure you are familiar with these components. So now, how do we assess or test health-related fitness? So isa-isahin natin ang mga components of health-related fitness. For the first one, which is muscular strength, so which is all about the ability of your muscle to exert effort. Ang kakayahan na pagbuhat at pagdala ng mga bagay-bagay ay nagpapakita ng muscular strength. An assessment which can be used is doing curl-ups. The next one is muscular endurance. It's the ability to use a group of muscle for a certain period of time without getting tired easily. Kaya kung nagagawa nating magbuhat o magdala ng mga bagay sa mahabang oras na hindi agad napapagod ang ating mga braso, mayroon tayong tinatawag na muscular endurance o hindi tayo nangangalay agad. To assess this, you can do sit-ups and push-ups. So, the third one is flexibility. Mas magiging flexible tayo kung madalas tayong mag-unat-unat uh, o yung tinatawag na stretching. Okay? Mas madaling makagalaw kasi yung mga muscle natin kung ini-stretch natin sila at mas na-enhance sila papunta sa uh, pagiging flexible ng mga muscle natin. So, it is the ability to bend, twist, reach, and move the joint easily. So, it can be assessed by doing sit and reach. The next one is cardiovascular endurance. It's the capacity of the heart and lungs to work efficiently when performing a physical activity. So, running, walking, Biking and swimming are activities which can improve the capacity of your heart and lungs. So ito naman ay ang kakayahan natin gumawa ng mga gawain na hindi agad napapagod o nahihirapang huminga. 
So, ibig sabihin, malusog ang puso at baga natin. So, doing step test or one kilometer run, walk, can be used to assess this component. So, the last one is body composition. So, this is the ratio of the body fat to the weight of the muscles, bones, and organs. So, hindi ibig sabihin pagpayat ka ay maganda na ang iyong katawan. Hindi rin ibig sabihin na pag mataba ka ay malusog ka na. So, dapat maging balance ang proportion ng ating uh, muscle, bones, and fat sa ating katawan. So, measuring your height and weight can assess if you have good body composition. Now, let's move on to skill-related fitness. So, skill-related fitness helps improving ability for sports and physical activities. These activities require more effort. Assessing skills-related fitness can help you decide which sport or activity do you want to engage in. So, let's see how we can assess skill-related fitness. So, para malaman natin ang ating kakayahan, maaari natin gamitin basihan ang chart na to. So, the first one is agility, which can be assessed by doing slide shuttle. So, balance is assessed by doing stick balance. For coordination, one juggling. For power is standing long jump. For reaction time is yardstick drop. And for speed is the 50 meter sprint. If you can pass this assessment for each skill related component, then you can decide which sport or activity you can do. Of course, in doing assessment of physical fitness performance, there are safety measures to be followed. Mahalagang maging malusog, pero mahalaga din ang maging ligtas. So, these are the safety measures which should be observed before doing physical activities. So, doing this will help prevent accidents or injuries. Wear proper complete PE uniform for the activities. So, mas masisigurado natin na magagawa natin ang mga aktividad ng maayos at komportable. So, inspect and check the area where the activity and assessment will be conducted. So, mahalaga itong gawin para malaman kung ang lugar ba ay may mga panganib. So, report to your teacher if you have any specific health concern. So, kung may mga dapat ikonsidera halimbawa may hika o sakit sa puso na hindi ka maaaring mapagod ng sobra. Ipagbigay alam lamang sa iyong guro. So, drink before, during, and after activity. So, mahalaga ang tubig upang mapanatili ang lakas at temperatura ng katawan. So, each instruction for the activity must be cleared, explained before executing them. So, makinig mabuti sa mga direction na ibibigay ng guro para maiwasan ang anumang hindi inaasahang pangyayari. So, begin with warm-up activity before the physical assessment. So, alam naman natin na napakahalaga nito para maihanda ang ating katawan sa gagawin na aktibidad. So, any question? Since everything's clear, that ends our lesson for today. I hope you understand a lot. Again, this is Teacher Ashton. See you next time. Goodbye and God bless.